for who Yalaloa was uh, with George Helm. Also, the same thing happened with the brothers, especially in Hana, from Kenai to Kipuhulu. And they formed an organization called Pohaku Corporation. And they are now a um, nonprofit organization. And, and um, here to tell the story is Uncle Harry Mitchell and Tony Poo. How about giving them a big hand from Hana? Uh, wow. um, the Pohaku Corporation was basically, oh, I'm, uh, my name is Tony Poo, I'm from Hana Maui. Uh, I come to speak for the brothers of the, the Hui of Pohaku. Uh, the Pohaku was born out of that, that struggle that was going on during the early stages of Koalavi. And it was from there, Uh, you guys can hear me? Okay. Uh, the Pohaku Corporation is a Hawaiian corporation that was formed in Hana. Uh, it, basically, it was the brainchild of uh, John Lin and Kimo Mitchell and some of the brothers in the early days of the Kaho'olawe movement. And uh, none, of the, none of the brothers could be here today because uh, they're back there working on the land. <laughs> but uh, they sent me here to express the deepest manao mana to all of you. Uh, the basic, uh, you like try help me on her. The basic thing about Pohaku, <laughs> what we're doing is just um, what George and Kim Wooden fought so hard about, you know, the Aloha Aina. Right. And that's what we're doing now. We, we're going back into the land and we're going back and opening up all the old tower patches. And the concept of Aloha Aina. The basic concept. It's yeah. not to look at the land and charge them. That's what we do in Oakland. We don't talk about it. We charge them. We're fishermen, farmers. That's, a, that's our lifestyle. Eh? Over here, you tell the concept of Aloha'ina. They look at you strange, you know, these strange people. So you cannot, they don't own land like how we own land. And so far, the Pohaku nonprofit uh, co op, which I am one of the directors. And this is one of the lieutenants. There's about 34 of us from this organization. And we started this organization about five years ago. Through the help of the Potek Aholave Ohana, which gave us to grant money, $800 to start off with. And now we have about $80,000, bought a big tractor for 60000 and they tell me, Uncle Harry, what you gonna do with all the money? I say, I think I'm gonna buy one Arab well, bring them here to run our Toyota, our equipment. So, so far, that's what we're doing back there, go back to the Aina, but not just looking at it. We, get, we put in a lot of work. We put in about 15 acres already in town. We get rice to plant. We try to, uh, like Uncle Harry trying to say, we, we try to uh, put that, that spirit of Aloha Aina into practice. I mean, it's good to talk about it, but if you're not out there opening the tower patch or restoring that hair or something, then it's just talk. But see, this is this was born out of that movement, the Koholawe movement. It's like Oha. Eh? We came, we became an offshoot of that, of that uh, whole thing that was going on at that time, uh, still going on. Yeah, but, and uh, we. Do educational purpose too. We took 14 University of Hawaii student Hawaiian language program. Two weeks with me, we bathe in a stream, drink off the stream, cook in wooden stove, go hunt fish. I teach them the values of the past. If you say Hawaiian without land, there's no Hawaiian, and I don't have no education. But you give me the land, I can tell you every creature the purpose, every plant the purpose what it's for. We had a great nation. We had more Hawaiians living then than today. No supermarket, no drugstore. That's what we're trying to do, go back on our land. And I think we're making good progress. And then you heard about George Helm, one of our leaders, Pote Kaholai Ohana. Now I tell you about Kimo Micho, my son. Uh, he was raised in KNI. Graduated at Baldwin High School, 
I sent him to Romania, to Fresno State University for five years. He graduated with a science degree, bachelor's degree in uh, criminology and uh, natural resource. Uh, he was a beautiful boy, strong, 225 pounds, good football player, uh, all conference lineman of the week. And he was up for all American nomination. So he came back to work in the National Park Service as a park ranger. And he worked at uh, Seven Pools, Skipulu area. And then, being my son, he trying to find his roots. So he told me, Daddy, what we own? I say, a big fat zero. We don't own even one small little island where we can sit on. So he was concerned. He had two nieces and seven nephews. He looked at them, he told me, gee, what kind of life they gonna get? So he was trying to find his roots. He joined the Hana Canoe Club as paddler, organizer. And then Pohaku, our farm co-op, non-profit farm co-op, which is all grassroots people. And then he joined the Potek Kaholobe Ohana, helping out in the course. As you know, we've been dragged down the tube. Now we're coming up fighting. That's a good spirit. But it's strange fighting for your land. It's not our business, but we make it our business. They ask me, Uncle Harry, why Kaho love I say, well, we get too much energy and we commit ourselves. I say, what do you like us to do? Fight the Navy on the streets in the alley where we find them? Oh, go over there, burn out our engine, climb in the hill, clean up the shrines, restore the trails. The low east, restore the low east. Then back home, restore the low east. That's why I'm deep in the university. I have a terror project at Kanebai. Yeah. Going, teaching the students the values, the Hawaiian values, the values of our best. As you know, the system is slowly going down the tube. We all can feel it. And now, since Potek Kahalabe Ohana, we have about 200 something different Ohanas striving for the same cause. We ask what's do us. And that's simple. But as you know, the state government is the bureaucracy. And only paperwork, the paper tigers. That's all I can see, only words. Me, I don't talk, I go do it. Otherwise, put up or shut up. So for this cause, to perpetuate our culture, heritage, to go back to the Aina, we have to lose our lives. Sometimes we ask why, and give us more determination. The thing is to organize. That's why I'm in a great school up to the college level, I lecture every night, every day. Just to teach our young ones how to love, share, to do good, so you can prosper in this world and I can help you. It's a big word. Big world takes a big man, but I'm just starting to move. I think I'm moving in the right direction. We started off this Ohana with just 52 people. Now we have branched out about 62,000, which we have addresses and phone numbers. So I think we're doing good. Growing and we just, slowly. we're still growing. We knew, but I'm here to give advice, to give direction. I don't tell you what to do. I just give you direction and help you along so we can move it. It's time to move it. I'm here for press conference for whatever, boy. I never know I was needed, eh? <laughs> That's why I cut my trip short to the mainland just two weeks and dropped back home. Help Dr. Aluli, Office of Hawaiian Affairs, then the various uh, Hawaiian organization who has the same problem. But I think our problem is just beginning. We get more, but we prepare for that. That's what we do. We do our homework. Otherwise, you get your food stuck in your mouth. And we have the expertise. And I'm happy we have all the expertise. So if I need help, I just call the old timers to come up. We have plenty of attorneys. That's why I want to get arrested, see what they can do. Eh? 
<laughs> Maybe on Kaholave, it would be nice. <laughs> um, on, a, uh, on behalf of the brothers and the people of Hana, Maui, uh, we give you our fondest aloha. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Aloha, Pumehana, Ahuiho. Take care.